there, it's Miley with Cloud App. Today we have a blog post on the Ruby on Rails best practices that every developer should follow. Uh, so we'll go over um, the importance of keeping the code clean, um, using space indentations, using question marks to define predicate methods, uh, using unless instead of if for conditional statements, and we'll provide some examples here of how to do that correctly. Um, we'll also go over some best uh, practices for testing Ruby on Rails, um, the importance of keeping code dry, uh, basically dry, don't repeat yourself is what that stands for. Um, and then using fat model and skinny controller, uh, this also follows the dry principle uh, because you write the code in your model and the controller um, only to the call like this, and so we'll give an example of that. And then uh, we'll go over using enums wisely um, and um, using SQL injection prevention. Uh, so we'll basically go over a bunch of things that go way over my head, but um, you know it, it's a great place to start if you are just learning Ruby on Rails or just need a refresher as a developer. Um, hopefully this helps you, and um, I, I hope you also um, consider using Cloud App. Uh, to you know communicate with others about your code you can easily send screenshots or um, annotated screenshots or videos to explain your code or um, just communicate with coworkers whatever your need is um, it can be a quick way to to speed up the communication and collaboration process without um, having to schedule a meeting uh, so hopefully that helps you and good luck with uh, your your Ruby on Rails uh, code testing and writing